I, I think it's just a great way to show off Old Southwest. Um, there's so many cool houses. We've loved it for 10 years, and just being over here and being a part of it, it's a huge fundraiser for the neighborhood, and just, we, if we're not on it, we, we actually walk it and tour it as well. This home uh, was, first of all, was built in 1905. And this is a Queen Anne style home. Built uh, like a lot of the homes up in New England along the coast. I like a lot of open space and a lot of light. This room on the front, the parlor or living room, is the full width of the house. This house is a 1905 Dutch Colonial. Um, it has the pitched roof, so it's a little different from like the Queen Anne's and the gingerbread houses. We, we try to go for classic, um, and so one of our goals this year is to put a Christmas tree in every room. When you walk into a room like this room, you have nutcrackers, in another room there's Santas. It's just we want people to enjoy it and say, wow, that's kind of neat. I, you know, I just call it eclectic. It's just. My motto is, if you like it, it matches. I have an interest in the Civil War. Um, I studied Civil War history, and both of my great-grandfathers were served under Robert E. Lee in the Army of Northern Virginia. So I love the library. It's my favorite room. I, I read a lot. Um, and what we did just a couple months ago is we broke through and actually have a see-through fireplace. A lot of the photos on the walls are um, of relatives. Since the house was built in 1905, to have the antiques that are period around that time just helped to add to the uniqueness of the homes. Most of my furniture is antique, and it's period furniture that you would have seen probably in this home when they lived here. And the dining room set uh, was my grandmother's and her and my grandfather bought it when they first got married. It was $100 for all three pieces back in like 1930. But she saved up her money teaching piano to buy those pieces. So they really mean a lot to me that they were hers. And everything kind of has a story behind it. Yeah.